नमस्ते वेलकम टू अंकनेश क्रिएशन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोना शेयर लैंडस्केप पेंटिंग ऑन स्टोन आई ऑलरेडी हैव टू मोर स्टोन पेंटिंग वीडियोस ऑन माय चैनल आई विल लिंक देम इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो एंड आल्सो एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो एंड नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द वीडियो कम ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम क्लीनिंग एंड वाइपिंग माय स्टोन्स सो दैट व्हाइल पेंटिंग नो डस्ट और समथिंग कम्स इन माय वे then i searched for some easy landscape painting inspiration because i have never painted landscape painting on such tiny canvas chalo then let's start painting so i'm starting by dividing the area to get an idea of sky and water area while painting i'm using acrylic paints here and will start painting the sky part first After painting little bit I realized that due to dark surface of stone it's better to dab the paint like this than painting in a normal way so that the paint stands out nicely and also I kept the brush dry by wiping it with cloth or tissue throughout the painting after each wash Now continue painting the whole landscape like I'm doing here Once I'm done painting, I'll let the colors dry completely and then I'll add a layer of gloss mod podge. It will add a shine to my painting and also will make the colors more durable. And this is the final result. What do you think? I do love it. <laughs> For the next one I started by painting it all white first Let this paint dry and then with the help of sponge I'm trying to create the shading of night sky until I'm satisfied with how it looks It took me a while to achieve the desired shading but I really enjoyed the process. 
if you have never tried stone or rock painting i highly recommend you guys to try it out i love stone painting it makes a beautiful home or garden decor can act as a paperweight place a tea light candle between all painted stones and make a beautiful table decor the options are really endless now as the base has dried i'm adding tree and its branches and then with the help of back side of paint brush will add tiny dots to act as flowers Now again when the paint has dried add gloss mod podge to get that shine and make the paint more durable And this is the final result I love how cute and simple this is For this last one again I'm painting it all white first and let it dry Now like I have done before I'm dividing the area to get an idea for painting the landscape. So for this one I'm trying to paint the pink and purplish sky and I'm again going to do this by dabbing the paint and work till I get the desired look. Now I'm painting the remaining area with black paint and then I'll add black trees to get the silhouette effect of trees. I loved the stone till this point but then I think I filled in too much of black paint in the trees. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this. And finally add gloss mod podge for that shine and durability and we are done with our third and final stone. And this is the final result of this one. Let me know which stone you like the most. I personally like the first one. Your comments really matters a lot. It makes all the hard work really worth it. This is a little hack to paint the back side of the painted stone so that you don't have to keep the stone facing painted area downwards for a longer time. If you like this video, hit that like button if you do because that's the only way I get to know if you like it or not. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any queries or feedback or anything you want to let me know. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click that bell icon. Subscription is completely free and you will get notification whenever I will upload a new video. I'll see you soon. Bye. Love being creative. Please subscribe. Bye.